Eric and Dan here with ToolsInAction.com. Today we're going to go over the DeWalt 8 volt gyro screwdriver. What Which, is the 8 volt gyro screwdriver? Well, before we start, <laughs> let me just make sure that they turn the mic on. Yeah, exactly. I'm an idiot. Yeah, I think we're golden. Alright, you guys may have remembered we went to the uh, DeWalt event. DeWalt event maybe a couple months back and uh, pretty much they showed us all their new products. This we couldn't really talk about until recently and we actually just got it today. But it's the gyroscopic screwdriver. So what they've done is they've taken their technology from the Black & Decker screwdriver and they ported it over to their more professional line here which is the DeWalt. And what they're going to allow you to do with this, it's an 8 volt pocket screwdriver. It's going to allow you to slowly rotate and control the speed. Now. Everybody's like, well, what am I going to use this little screwdriver for? There's tons of uses that oh, you can wow. use it for. Uh, overhead applications. You're constantly over your head. This little lightweight, do you know how much it weighs? 1.1 pounds. 1.1 pounds. This over your head all day, or would you rather have a 2.53 pound drill above your head? 1.1. Correct. Well, we people like Eric, 1.1. Me, I like yeah. the heavy stuff. I like to have my big 18 foot with that big handle on it. Yeah. Actually, I think you like being sitting in the chair. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's a good idea. Wouldn't it be cool to have a tool that you just sit in the chair and put a ceiling fan in? All you need is a long extension. Just some long extensions. Yeah. And... <laughs> now, a um, couple cool features of this. It has a lock button, so when you put it in your tool pouch, that it's not going to um, move, yeah, move around on you. Uh, this is the DCF 680N1. comes with one battery. The M2 comes with two batteries. The for about M ten bucks more, right? Ten bucks more. This is about ninety bucks, and for ninety nine, a hundred bucks, you're gonna be able to get the M2, which has the second battery, which is pretty much a no brainer. Yeah. Um, cool thing is when you turn it on, like you just push that button and it has tactile feedback, so it's vibrating on you, kind of like a motor's running in there. Obviously, it's not, but it's just letting you know that the tool's engaged, it's ready to go. As soon as you uh, make your rotation, it's gonna start. How much torque do we have on this, Eric? I don't know. I know it's, uh, I think, 430 RPM. It's Zero to 430 RPM. Okay, it doesn't tell. You know what? It didn't say torque online either. It's probably UWL. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, that's all right. We don't know anyways. Um, but fuel status gauge on it. Three bars. Pretty cool. Uh, LED light on the front. Stays on yeah, for a little nice. while. So that, that's an awesome thing. Because we just did the Milwaukee M4. Yep. In fact, it's right here. And uh, that, which that one runs about a hundred bucks also with two batteries. With That's two batteries, and it's four, a four volt, volt as opposed to an eight volt. Right, and you can see the difference here. It's a little longer. Um, they both turn into pistol style drivers. This one's actually cool. You hit an unlock and you twist the grip. Mm -hmm. um, clutch settings zero to fifteen plus a drill mode, one handed chuck. Uh, it's a quarter big... inch hex chuck, right? Yep. I believe it's one handed. Why don't you get a bit and put it in and see? What's a bit? Yeah, oh, good kidding. luck finding one. Oh, shut up. I got bits everywhere. Um, well, I know you do. It's just being able to find one. So, yeah, keep talking, Eric. Come on, people are watching. Why does this AT&T guy keep driving up and down the street? What do you mean? Oh, my gosh. It's like yeah, the third one, time he's gone by. One-handed Chuck. Don't talk about the AT&T guy. One-handed Chuck. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Now, he, uh, he was out here yesterday at my neighbor's, and he took off and left all his garbage in my yard, and he left two cones, so I took his cones. Well, why don't you give them back to him? What? Why don't you give it back to him? Because he littered in my yard, A. You don't know if he beans. littered in your yard, but you do know those Check are his cones. cones. There you go, right on, right on YouTube, put that you stole the AT&T cones. Oh, man. <laughs> for everyone to see. Why don't you give it back to the guy? Huh? If the guy's if looking I for it, him, give it back to him. He's right stop. there. He, dude, that's not the guy. You just think it's the guy. No. Poor guy's got a family to feed. Now he's got to take that Dude, out. Dude, I looked them up online. Line. They're like $6 cones. They're Doesn't so matter. cheap. They're all ripped out of his pocket. I'm throwing them out, actually. When you can just walk over there and give it back to him. Yeah, but he could have just walked to a garbage can and thrown You don't know if he threw that trash in your yard or not. Did you see him throw the trash in your yard? No, but it was right in front of his truck and it was just like his lunch. I saw two white cups there. <laughs> Maybe he had soup for lunch. <laughs> All right, what's the warranty on that? Uh, DeWalt standard, three-year warranty, 90-day money-back guarantee, one-year service agreement. Wow. Pretty cool. Comes with uh, a bag, half-hour charger. charger, and the bag. Yeah, like I said, I get the two version, the two-battery version. What's that, a butt that? Looks like it. 
Wow. They're like, man, what a bonus. We get to see something else on Tools and Action. No, that's a bit holder. Is it? Yeah, it goes right there. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Look at that. Yeah, oh, put cool. your bits on the top there. That's weird. Why? I just wonder why it wouldn't be on the tool permanently. Well, because if you don't want it on, yeah, it's I guess. nice to be able to take off. I mean, what bits would I put on here? What Not would you, you use? You don't use work. You don't do work. What would you use this for? I really wouldn't be using any Wolf. I don't do. I mean, it'd be nice for like an IT guy, I would think, or like you said, a guy who's in the RC cars, right or there. an electrician who's doing, you know, putting plates on or something. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's golden. It's uh, you know, it's one of those cool things too. It's a great gift to get for somebody. I think it's cool. It does take, you know. Not too much time to get used to turning it, you know, but right. once you get used to it, it's, it's easy. Like with the gyro, I had a problem. Not a problem, but I mean, it was hard to just palm that switch The black and, turn and decker it. one? Yeah, what did I say? No, that's what I was wanting to Yeah, the it. black and decker. Okay. Um, you know, they seem to rectify that in this. It seems to be polished, you know what I'm saying? I think this it's is nice. A it's got a nice tool. feel to it. Right. It's got, it's got a nice, even though it's uh, 1.2 pounds or whatever, it just feels... You know, it's got like a mini 20 volt style grip on it. It just feels really comfortable and ergonomic, and I like that a lot. Well, I thought it did good at one reason at the event. I forget what we were driving in the wall or whatever, but I mean, it, yeah, they're it's, small screws, but it still did a nice job. Yeah, no, it's got some power. DCF 680, pretty cool. All right, check it out. You think they're going to come out with more of this 8 volt stuff? That would actually be pretty I cool, but it's I wonder weird. how much Who power you can got... get out of this. Tech, Royal B Tech 4 is the only other small one. Milwaukee's got one in their lineup with a 4 volt. I thought Bosch had one. No, Bosch is a 12. I think 12. I'm trying to think who else has. AC Delco. Yeah. Wow, AC Delco has an 8 volt. Wow, AC Delco does have an 8 volt. And I have it. But there's no small lines. You know what I mean? It's not like there's a big line. Right. Where one company's got a... Oh, yeah, I forgot about yeah. that one. Yeah, 8 volt AC Delco. So there's the difference right there. I actually like the DeWalt better because you can turn it the pistol style grip or you can do the long, you know, screwdriver. Right, well, plus it's got, you know, all those features of yeah. the gyroscopic. But they're two different tools, you know? I this understand is, that, but I'm saying... This is going to be way better for a mechanic in his hands. Like, well, hence AC Delco. I think that's kind of what they're really trying to hit with the Right, mechanic. but I mean, if you're up in a dash where you can't make the turn, you know? Yeah, that's true. Okay, so you're with the gyros feature. Right. So I think the gyros is more of, uh, you know, <clears throat> maintenance... Uh, punch list items, stuff like that. There goes the AT&T guy again. Oh, yeah. If he stops, I'll give Just him. Just go give him his coins back. I'm not. See, right. people like you that mess up this country. What do you mean? <laughs> Why do I mess up this Look country? Look at the guy's turning it around right there. He's not looking for his coins. Are you kidding? That's a different guy. <laughs> the at and parade. If they're looking for his coins, <laughs> man, they got other issues to worry about. Maybe they should worry about getting faster internet speed. That's true. Better uh, customer service. ATT? Yeah, yeah, if I ever got a calm, it's like I'm on hold forever. They're horrible. Alright, toolsinaction.com, check it out. This is an awesome driver. Screwdriver? Alright, the cool thing is, too, about this is there's no reverse switch. So let's say I come up to here, right here. All I gotta do is twist left. And I'm untwisting, and let's say I go a little too far, and I need to twist in a little more. Boom, right? It'll take me right in. So, and you can see the precision that I'm having here. Obviously, that's the clutch kicking in. With the clutch. So, I mean, I could obviously overstretch this. This plate needs to be all straightened out. Um, but, pretty cool, huh? Watch. Are you seeing it, Eric? Can you hear that? Yep. That's tactic feedback telling me it's on. If I turn tote right and left, that's just by twisting. And the cool thing is, it's all relative to where I'm at. So if I start and hit the button here, it's all relative to that position. If I start here, all relative from where you hit the trigger, you push here, twist, and you gotta. Cool thing is the clutch, you're not going to overstrip. Definitely cool from the wall. 